Hi there. I'm at the airport walking with Yoda to the gate. It's been a fabulous nine days and I was reminded of a question that my son David asked me when I was living in the desert. When are you happiest, Mom? And you know, it's a question that we don't ask ourselves very often. When are you happiest? I can tell you when I'm happiest. I'm happiest when I'm visiting my kids. I'm happiest when I'm traveling. I'm happiest when I'm doing work of service, you know, helping other people. I'm, I'm happy, happy. <laughs> I'm happiest when I'm helping others. So I would like to ask you this question because if we don't ask ourselves the question, when are we happiest? We can miss some wonderful moments. You know, life is really short and <laughs> when we don't know what makes us happy, then we could end up spinning our wheels. You know, it's, it's a question that we're not asked very often. What makes you happy? I'm happiest at the beach. I'd be even happier, and this is what I'm talking about right now, bringing all my kids to a place, a destination, so I can couple my happy place with my happy people, which would be even better. Hey, Jill. Okay, so Denver Airport, and, and I, I want to talk about this for a moment because uh, last night, you know, I was doing laundry, packing up my suitcase, and, you know, closing up shop here in, in um, Boulder, Colorado, and and I was alone. My kids weren't with me. Now, I've spent a lot of time with them this week, which has been amazing, absolutely amazing. But last night, I was alone. Now, in California, I'm very happy alone. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, we work at, you know, to overcome codependence so that we can enjoy being alone with ourselves. And when that happens, it's a wonderful thing. So I enjoy my time alone. I love living alone. I really enjoy the independence and the freedom. But I will say, last night, I felt sad. I even teared up a little bit. And I don't want you to confuse sadness. I saw Marianne Williamson on Bill Maher last night. You know, it may have been reported the day before. But what I want to say is, sadness is not depression. Sadness is an emotion like joy or happy or elation. Those are emotions, but sadness is not depression. Sadness happens when we have to say goodbye to people we love. Sadness happens when we lose a parent or a child and we're grieving. Sadness isn't depression. So I'm going to ask you again, when are you happiest? And when do you feel the most sad? So I'm saying goodbye. I've just said goodbye to my son, Adam. I said goodbye to David already and Ariel the night before. And, you know, it's a little melancholy feeling, a little sad. But at the same time, you know, I love my life. I love where I live. So um, I'm gonna, I'd love you to comment below. When are you happiest? And when are you most sad? And what do you do to overcome the sadness? There's lots of things we can do to overcome sadness. We can sit there, we can meditate, we can really feel it fully, enjoy the moment of sadness because then when we're over, <laughs> over it, it feels so much better. 
it's such a relief. But sadness, feeling, feeling sadness isn't a bad thing. It's, it's part of life. We're going to have ebbs and flows, ups and downs, and that will continue to happen. All right, so I'm on my way to my gate. I love you, thanks for watching. I'd like you to comment below, when are you happiest? And what makes you sad? And I'm sending you a big, big heart hug. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>